last vlog of the year oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know all these intro references, okay? It is your favorite girl, a Daisy in the building. Hello guys, it's Ada here as always. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch! <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my last vlog for the year, my last video, and I'm so excited. I had a good year, okay? I had a good year. I'm so excited, I'm happy. I gained a whole family, like a whole tribe. I gained a whole family and I'm so happy to have all of you on my channel. Thank you so, 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 so much. So we hit 5K this year. Like, I, 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 I never expected it. <laughs> so I'm so happy and blessed to have you guys on my channel. Like I always say, I have the best people on this platform on my channel okay the best subscribers i have them i love you all thank you so much for being there for me thank you so much for contributing to my growth one way or the other so yeah um today um i don't really have much to do i'm just going around and just get some things my mother is coming back today yes he didn't spend christmas with us we were alone <laughs> hello darkness my old friend yeah, so we were alone this Christmas and yeah, but it's coming back to this, so I'm so excited. Um, I need to go and get some stuff. But throughout this video, I'm going to be telling you guys things that I have decided that I am not going to be doing in 2020, okay? As a mom, especially as a mom, things that me, Adez, I am not going to be doing in 2020 because 2020, new year, new me. And actually, I got this video idea from dn vlogs the dnv vlogs dn vlogs um discovery natural vlogs i'm telling you, you guys must know her she's on this platform she's an amazing person if you don't know her go and check her out and subscribe to her channel her main channel is discovery natural she does all about natural hair her children's hair are so beautiful uh people like her the ones that give me liver to leave my children's hair okay i'm not relaxing their hair i'm not doing too much hair because if she can do it then i can do it okay and she has two beautiful daughters too so yeah check her out discovery natural or uh, and also check her vlog which is dn vlogs okay so the first one is i am not going to be buying things anyhow for my kids again in 2020 in 2019 i think i went overboard with buying things mommy i want this oh yeah take it mommy i want that it's not even about what they say they want it's about me I'll enter the shop, I'll see nice things for them, I'll start buying it. And even some things that I buy, I buy them knowing that they're most likely not going to use it or they're going to spoil it or something. But because I like it, but then I'm living vicariously through my children, I don't know what it is, but all I know is that I don't need to have self-control when it comes to buying things for my children. So this time, 2020, I am not buying anything for them again that they don't need, okay? I'll buy books, I'll buy crayons, I'll buy pencils, I'll buy educational materials, that's all, okay? If they need to play, they should go and play with sand outside. Thank God I, I bought sand toys for them. They should either play with sand outside or they should go and watch TV. No more unnecessary toys in 2020, okay? So who's with me? Who can relate? <laughs> if you're a mom and you can relate, just leave a comment in the comment section, um, things that I'm going to do in 2020. Number two, I just remember on that one now is, when I enter a shop, and I want to go and buy a nice top for myself. As I'm about to pick it up, my eye will go to one pink shoe forever, or one blue dress for Cora, or one yellow top for Amarachi. I will not leave the top I want to go and buy and buy their own. Okay? 2020, I am not doing that. I am not going to be doing that. Okay? Sometimes I enter a shop and I say, okay, I need to get this, this, this for myself. When I enter there and I see, okay, price of top for me, a price of top for me might be 5k. I'll be like, 5k, me, spend 5k on this top. I am not going to do that. It's too expensive. 5k is too expensive. Then I will not enter a children's shop and see a dress for 15k for Cora and I'll go and buy it. Make it make sense. Where is the logic in that? Make it make sense, okay? 
Cora is most likely going to outgrow that 15k dress while I am not going to outgrow the, 50, the 5k top, okay? I'm not about to outgrow it. Instead, I will lose weight and I will still fit it and continue wearing it. So, in 2020, I am carrying my sense with me wherever I go. I am going to be more logical in my spending, okay? So that's number two. Anyway, I'm going to be telling you guys the rest of it throughout this video, but let me just go out now. So, see you guys later. My camera. Huh? Mommy. Mm hmm. Let me buy a camera for us. Cora. Yes. Mommy, what is this? Hmm. Mommy, what is this? It's a camera. Mommy. Yes. Mom, I'm three years old. You're three years old. Yes. Yeah. All right. So guys, we are at Nello's house now. <laughs> See how this one is holding her tab. I see somebody who collects it from her. <laughs> Eva, you don't want to share your tab. Why? She will soon say, I can't. Hmm? Cora, can you put up your tab and go up first? Can we go up first? Huh? Can we go up first? Yes. Yeah, let's go up first, okay? You want to play your tab while climbing the stairs? Hey, Cora, we are, let me have that tab now. Sorry. Sorry, I still didn't. Cora, let me have that tab now. Sorry. Give it to me. Sorry. Give it to me. Sorry. Oh, yeah, go upstairs. Yeah. When you go upstairs, I'll give it to you. Uh -huh. Everybody's giving me her own thing. Mm. Sorry. Hello. Can I help you? Why are you squeezing your face like that? What happened? I don't when you get upstairs, I will give you the tablet. And if you insist too much, I won't give you any tablet again. Oh yeah, Halele. EJ, move. Move it. You don't want to go. You're going to stay here now. You're not going to Auntie's house. Alright, so guys, another thing I'm not going to be doing in 2020 is allowing these children to control my life, okay? I'm going to be strict with discipline and I'm going to follow through with discipline. Because sometimes when I try to discipline them and they get angry or they get sad or start squeezing face, I will soft pedal and, you know, try to make things better. No. This next year, I will do what I want to do. If you want to cry, cry. Okay, hey guys. So I'm back now. I said I was going to take you guys along, but I just couldn't vlog where I went to. I went to the market, went to the pharmacy, went to the supermarket. Then from there, I went to get a new mattress on my bed because the old one was just giving me body pain. So I had to go and get new mattresses and pillows. And yeah, so I want to cook right now. And you guys are going to cook with me. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to cook with me? I want to cook a goosey soup. Normal Nigerian goosey soup. So I'll take you guys along with me while I cook. So while I cook, we'll be just in, okay? Um, yeah, so first of all, I need to put the meat on fire. Uh, where's my meat? Okay, let me get pots. So I'm going to be using this pot to cook my meat. Let me rinse the pot and put the meat in it. This is the stock fish I usually use to cook my soup. This is just um, the flesh, I think. Yeah, they call it the flesh. It's just the flesh of stock fish. I think I got this one for 1,000 naira. It's not I think. I got this for 1,000 naira. It's just the flesh. So I either use this or I use the ear. This one they call the ear or the head of the stock fish. But the reason why I don't really use it much is because they have a lot of bone in them. And my mom doesn't really care for stock fish and all that. So let me just use some flesh for the taste. Not so that I will enjoy stock fish. Because my mom does not like it. And other bones is not something that we're interested in here. So... 
yeah that's why i use the flesh of stockfish all right so guys my meat is cooking right now i'm feeling like someone on the cooking show or something yeah my meat is cooking right now um i don't even know what i'm going to be doing okay let me be licking my udara while i cook those of you that are abroad do you do you know what it says <laughs> you guys are missing out this one is called wanu udara wanu is very delicious very very sweet as in very sweet like sweet sweet i think they put sugar in it so yeah it's the best udara um ever so you don't beg me okay don't beg me let me enjoy my one udara a little while with this so mm. 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 YouTuber hand. Are you saying this? <laughs> I want to totally those of you that, that, that are abroad. <laughs> anyway, so I was telling you guys things that I'm not going to do next year as a mom, and one of them is lazy parenting. Okay, I'm not going to be a lazy parent next year. And what I mean by lazy parenting is this, and I'm sure a lot of moms out there can relate. Sometimes I just don't want to deal with it. Like. If you are throwing your tantrums, if you are asking for something that on a normal day I'm not supposed to give you, if you are just being annoying, yes, kids can be annoying sometimes, okay? I can, and, I, and I have the right to say so myself. If you're just being annoying, rather than try to correct you like my child, rather than I try to correct my child or try to, you know, make them see things, see the right thing to do or whatever, rather than just trying to correct them. I just let them be. I'm just like, you know what? They, what do they want? They want this, give it to them. I just need peace of mind. Anything that will just make them keep quiet, I just give it to them. Of which is not really a bad thing because sometimes we too, we are human beings, we can't always be trying to correct, trying to mold, trying to build, trying to adjust, trying to. Uh, sometimes it's exhausting, okay? Sometimes I just want to rest. So, you want to put your hand inside fire? How hot do you want it? <laughs> How hot do you want the fire? Go and put your hand. When it burns you, you will be fine. Okay, okay. Uh, that's a bad example. But yeah, please don't allow your children to put your hand in fire. I beg you. I don't do that for my children. Biko kwa. Biko. Mm -hmm. But all I'm just trying to say is that sometimes rather than correct my child or just... Sometimes I just don't want to deal with them. Like, I just don't want to deal with it. So they're crying, oh, I want lollipop. Meanwhile, they're supposed to be having their lunch. I'm just like, give it to them. Give them the lollipop. Let me just rest, okay? So yeah, it's something I did a lot this year simply because I had a lot on my plate. I was trying to build my YouTube channel. I was trying to do my business. I was trying to, you know, just survive, okay? And it was getting a lot for me. So next year, I have told myself that I am not going to do that lazy parenting. It's not like I do it all the time, though. like no, actually, my children are actually well behaved, okay? So it, it, it didn't come by... <laughs> it didn't come by a fluke or something. I actually trained them. I actually tried to um, teach them the right thing. I actually tried to raise my kids right. But these few times that I I let things slide, I really don't like letting things slide because I've noticed that children like to push boundaries. They like to they like to test. They like to test. You give them one feet, they want two feet. You give them two feet, they want ten miles. You give them ten miles. They want to, <laughs> they want the whole country, you know. I'm going to be more intentional. Like I'm looking for I look for a I look for a better way to resolve conflict or to get or to stop tantrums or to just make peace. I look for better ways, ways in which they don't really get what they want, but the result or the outcome is satisfactory for both parties. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to be more intentional with that next year so help me god okay so you guys you guys should help me thank chinelo's mom yes oh I, she said stop calling her chinelo you guys should help me thank nello's mom she gave me fish dry fish you guys chinelo is the one that gave birth for me i am enjoying omugo <laughs> I am enjoying the Omugo, like, each time I go to her house and she cooks, and she gives me food, 
and her food is so delicious. She reminds me of her cooking reminds me of my mom's cooking. So the other day I went and she gave me oha soup, like authentic oha soup. So when I brought the soup home now, I was like, okay, let me just let's have the soup as, as dinner because they packed it for me in a plate. So then all of us had the soup as dinner. My dear, as I tasted the soup like this, I was like, nope, nope, nope. Whatever people were planning to eat before, that's what people should eat. I kept the soup for myself. <laughs> I think I ate it three times. I kept the soup for myself. Please, we are not sharing. We are not, not sharing. So yeah, you guys should help me thank her. She gave me dry fish. It was plenty. Oh, it's still, I still have more in my freezer. And I've used some to cook before. So she gave me dry fish. So yeah, this is the fish I want to wash. And I also have this one that I bought some time ago. So let me just put it in the soup. But yeah, you guys should tell her thank you. So I am enjoying Omugwa by association which is which is pretty good okay which is pretty good <laughs> so another thing that i remember now that i am not going to be doing next year as a mom is cooking different pots of food this one i don't even know who i'm vexing for because i, I started it myself i'm not accustomed for myself so i'm vexing for myself do you know what i was doing because Kra does not like pepper. Kra does not like pepper. I was now cooking two different pots of soup. If I want to cook soup, I cook Kora soup. I cook our own soup. If I want to cook rice, I cook Kora I cook our own. If I want to cook stew, I cook Kora I cook our own. If I want to... No, 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 no. I am not doing that next year, okay? I'm going to be cooking one pot of food. Everybody's going to eat from it. If you don't like it, to the left, you go and sleep. You go and sleep because already, you are in a privileged position by being my child. <laughs> the person I'm talking to is not even here, sir. I don't know who I'm fighting with. You are in a privileged position by being my child. So if you miss dinner, it's not going to, it's not going to affect you. You are still going to be strong and healthy, okay? So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Next year is the same pot of food that all of us are going to eat, okay? Okay. So this is the meat. It's still cooking. I didn't really put water in it. I just allowed it to cook in its own in his own water, in his own juices. So after now, I'm going to add normal water. I'm going to add water to the meat so that it can cook better. So I've already washed the leaves. I usually wash the leaves before I pluck them and then I wash it after I pluck it them cut. Okay? Some people just wash after cutting. But me, I wash it before I pluck it and after I cut. My mom that taught me because she feels like um it will help you remove sand better or something. I don't know. But me, to be honest, sometimes I cut it in the market. I give the market the cuts for me. Okay? When I come back, I wash it, wash it like two or three times or four times. Uh, and I do not die. <laughs> There's no award for suffering, please. So, yeah. Uh, I just give them the market to cut and that's it. That's another thing that I will not do next year as a mom, okay? I am going to reduce my suffering. I'm going to reduce it. Anything that is really not hard work but suffering, I ain't going to do it, okay? I ain't gonna do it. Anything that will make my life easier, that is what I am going to do, okay? All these things I'm doing now is just because of this video. On a normal day, the cutting of the leaves, the cutting of onions, you know, the meal prep, blend pepper, blend, blend I leave it for um, Amarachi to do. I just come and mix the soup. Hmm? I don't cook, I mix. I'm a mixologist, okay? <laughs> So yeah, um, next year, anything that amounts to suffer ahead at the end of the day, I am not going to do it, okay? The only thing that for now is kind of suffer ahead, but I'm still going to be doing is my children's hair. Simply because they won't sit for anybody to do their hair. And to be frank, I don't want anybody else to do their hair, okay? So yeah, that's the only, that's the only suffer ahead I'm going to permit next year. Any other thing, if I can afford to delegate it, I am going to delegate it. I'm kind of person that I, 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 usually, I, I usually don't like delegating things to anybody. So I'm washing the fish. I don't want to leave it. I don't want to leave it in water. So I'm just removing all the flesh. My husband doesn't really like the skin too. So that's why I'm not putting the skin. Some people cook with the skin, but we don't like it in this house. Well, not we. My mom doesn't like it. And I think I don't like it actually. Because sometimes I avoid it in food. So... Yeah, I don't cook with the skin. So, so 
I don't even know if my camera angles are working, but you guys, I, I, I'm just, so I'm not a cooking channel, so I don't know how you guys put on your camera, but I'm like, what's going on here? I don't know where to put my camera, how to put my camera. Anyway, so yeah, this is my meat now. The meat has been cooking for a while. Um, this is my egusi. I bought it from the market and blended it there. This is three cups. It was blended in the market for me. So what I usually do is, I just carry it and pour it straight into the meat. I pour it straight into the meat. Um, then I add water. I add a lot of water. Because a goosey burns easily. For anybody who is used to cooking a goosey, a goosey burns easily. So you have to have add a lot of water so that it doesn't just burn. Especially since I'm not frying it. Um, yeah, I need to add more water. Okay, so guys, this is my egusi now. It's with the meat, so all I'm just going to be doing is to be stirring it while it cooks. I'll cover it for a while, um, allow it to cook, and then I stir it again. So basically, all I'm just going to be doing is stirring, adding more water, stir, add more water, stir. Um, and I think I'm not going to allow myself to do next year is to compare my kids with other kids. Like, to be honest, I'm not going to compare my kids with other kids. It's not, it's not something I, I consciously do anyway. Like, to be honest, I have amazing kids. Argue with your, with your genes. <laughs> Argue with your genes. Me, I have amazing kids, okay? So, yeah. Um, it, even though I have amazing kids, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I tend to compare uh, it's not something I do. So, it's not something I do consciously. It's actually a subconscious thing. Anytime I catch myself comparing, I usually try to. I usually talk to myself and I'm like, "Girl, you better stop. Okay, you better stop that rubbish." So yeah, um, uh, that's it basically. I'm going to not compare my kids with other kids next year. And Cora's result taught me a big lesson. Okay, when Cora started school, because um, in Cora's case, you no know, she. She came from a different school. Like we changed school for her this year because we moved this year. So we changed school from her. We changed her to a better school. And their standard, I felt like the standard was very high. Well, it's not like that high, but I felt like the standard was higher than her former school. And for anybody who doesn't know, Cora is not really in her ideal class. She's actually in a class higher than she should be in. And that's because of the month she was born in. She was born in February. So she's in. So most people that are in her class, we are born September before. Do you understand? September, October, August, the year before Cora was born. So she's six months ahead of her. She's six months ahead of her mates, but six months below the, her classmates. Do you guys understand? So her, like her, her ideal class now is the class. People that were born in people that were born six months after her are in. Okay, do you understand? Whatever, whatever. <laughs> English is hard. Maybe I should be using Igbo to communicate. English is hard, okay? So yeah. Uh, so she's not in it's not in her ideal class. So I felt like she wasn't going to do so well. Even though yeah, she was catching up initially in class, she was really behind. I just felt like she wasn't going to do so well. Um, I felt she wasn't going to do so well. But you guys, she is. The class like she had all A's in her results so I asked myself girl why are you now feeling as if something is missing you know why are you feeling like because I, I, I actually was kind of regretting allowing her go to the class ahead so because of it Ava now is in her ideal class okay I didn't do that nonsense that I did for Cora for Ava well, it's not nonsense anyway but I didn't do it for Ava Ava is in her ideal class and I wanted it that way because I kind of started regretting putting Cora in the class ahead, you know, but she's catching up, she's doing so well, so it made me just tell myself, girl, you need to stop comparing your child, okay, just because you hear that other children in her class are reading one to do 1,000, it's not your business, the, the point is, is Cora doing well for her age, yes, good, good, okay, so why am I even feeling like my own is different, my own is not different, because, anyway, yeah, I'm done peeling this, so let me just cut this vegetables and i'll be right back and then i'll i'll turn my egusi i'm supposed to have turned this in so it's just it's just to you guys later one minute
Okay, so guys, I finished with the vegetables and um, the ego is still boiling. I'm not sure it's ready yet. When it's ready, I usually know. I just know. I don't know. I don't know how to tell that it's ready, but I know when it is ready, okay? Take my word for it. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, if you're doing this method, just cook it well for a while. Then you, I think the oil kind of comes to the top. That's how you know it's ready. I, I don't know actually. I just know that when I taste it, when I even see the face of the egusi, I know that it is ready. That is what we call instinct. So guys, like I was trying to explain, um, the oil is now on top, kind of. I don't know if you guys can see. I didn't use too much oil, so you might not really understand what I'm talking about, but the oil is now kind of on top and it's, well, it needs to be separated or something. So that tells me that the soup, the egusi is ready. Um, let me, this, this thing is actually firing, no, please. <laughs> if we should close your eye, let's not fire you there. <laughs> Did he fire any of you there? Sorry if he fired you. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <coughs> you guys, my husband just came back. <laughs> he came back and he didn't ring the bell though. He had to pass through the back door because me I was in the kitchen. I think he called Amarati and she told him that I was in the kitchen. So he passed um, the back door to come and surprise me. But he doesn't know that this is my house. I sight and sound. My eyes are everywhere. Forget that I'm cooking. My eyes are everywhere. So I saw a shadow pass and I was like, who's there? Who's there? And I know that, that shadow is not our guest. My shadow. I, I just knew because this is my house. So no strange object. <laughs> anyway, so I'm so happy that he's back. Let me just finish cooking his food. And yeah, the food is actually ready to serve. Just for me to add vegetables. And yeah, so I finished right on time. Fresh soup. I'll just make hot eba now for him he doesn't eat eba hot pound dough is powdered jam but it's in powder form so you just so it's called pound dough yeah so anyway so i'm going to do hot pound dough for him with soup for him to eat like i'm so happy that my mom finally back like today is what today is 30th 29th 28th what's today i don't know what today is anyway but just know that christmas has passed very well and he's just coming back yeah that's things we do compromises we make and this is like the fourth year in a row that he has missed christmas simply because of his job you people need to add more money for us. You people should be giving spouses money. <laughs> Jobs where uh, spouses have to be uh, away during the holidays. You people are supposed to be sending their spouses money. Send me consolation, consolation money for me to be missing my husband during the festivities. Anyway, see, this Father Christmas here is a marriage that put it here. And for some reason, I like it there. I don't know. For some reason, it's just there and I like it. So guys, all the oil in my system has come out of my face. Anyway, yeah, I'm done cooking. I've served Hobby's food. So this is Hobby's food. That's his eba and soup. And this is mine. That's my soup and eba. I really don't eat that much swallow. I'm sorry, not eba, pound do. I don't eat that much swallow. I don't know. I, I've never really been a swallow person. I eat swallow. I eat swallow because of the soup, not the other way around. So my soil is really small. Um, I'm, I'm fat for other reasons, okay? So, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so this hobby's food now. Does it look good? I hope you guys like the way it looks. Anyway, it actually tastes, it actually tastes really, really, really good. Like, really, I can't wait to go and devour my own right now. I'll talk to you guys after we finish eating. Or do you want to come and eat? You guys want to eat? Should I wait be with your own? Mm? <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> so what I got to say to my subscribers. <laughs> so the compliment of the season. Mm -hmm. Um thanks for subscribing to our DZ Space. Okay. Um see you next year with more exciting content. Okay. Are we going to be seeing more of you next year? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so we bought Christmas gifts for their daddy. Let them go and show and give it to him. <laughs> See how they are holding hide, it. Hide, hide. You want to hide? Yes. No, don't hide. Eva is ready to go. Just go. Don't hide, okay? <laughs> daddy. Who bought it? Mommy. Oh, mommy bought for daddy? Yes. Were you with mommy? Yes. Merry Christmas, Daddy. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> if I got to your own now, go and tell that you Merry Christmas. <laughs>